Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining me today. My name is Trellis Moss. I'm the owner and creator of Top Ad 101 Marketing. And today we're going to talk about do you have what it takes to be an entrepreneur? Interested in entrepreneurial lifestyle? Does the allure of waking up on your own time, setting your own schedule for the day, being the boss, traveling anywhere you want, when you want, all while making money appeal to you, you're not alone, my friend. Of course, that lifestyle appeals to many, but not everyone has what it takes to be an entrepreneur. Even less has what it takes to do so successfully. Here's just some of the skills you'll need to run your own business successfully and take control of your time. When it comes to time management, to be a successful entrepreneur, you're going to need well-developed time management skills. If you don't already have them, you'll need to learn them quick. Business doesn't slow down for you to catch up on tasks. As the control center of the business, you need these skills to balance work and personal life. If you don't use your time wisely, you'll quickly drown in responsibilities. Organizational structure. When you're an entrepreneur, you're in charge. This is great until you realize you'll have to take care of every aspect of your business on your own. You can enlist the help of marketing agencies like Mobile Mind Agency to help you, but you're still faced with all those little mundane daily tasks that must be done. Remaining organized and maintaining a structured schedule for your day will make every day flow easier, keeping your mind organized and focused on your business. Successful business does take discipline. If you have no sense of discipline, being an entrepreneur isn't for you. Since you set your own schedule and you're the boss, it's also completely on you on whether your business succeeds or fails. Discipline is key for staying on track, keeping your larger goals in mind and running a successful business. Inventiveness spurs creativity. When problems arise, who do you usually ask for help at work? That's right, your boss. So what happens when you're the boss? You are the one to solve the obstacles that arise. It won't always be easy, but getting creative and being this inventive will go a long way in helping you find the best solutions. Having problem solving and critical thinking skills, as an entrepreneur, you must be able to see a problem, assess the situation objectively, and from different angles before finding the best possible solution for the problem. This is where problem solving critical thinking skills will come in handy. Being knowledgeable is key. To convert prospects into customers, you must be knowledgeable about your business. Coming off as knowledgeable to prospects will gain their trust and respect. Once customers can like, trust, and respect you, they'll be more likely to give you their business over competitors. Practice having foresight. The ability to see ahead will serve you well as an entrepreneur. You'll be able to stay on top of trends and marketing strategies. You'll also be better equipped to anticipate setbacks and how to best solve issues as they arise. You'll also have a plan B to fall back on. Overall, when you have foresight, you'll adapt to any situation and you'll find yourself as an entrepreneur. Have timely and prompt reactions. Thinking on your feet is indispensable nowadays. With the rapid pace of communications and technology, being able to react to any situation promptly will save you from wasting time when you could be focusing on growing your business instead. Additionally, quick thinking will speed up business transactions. Giving and receiving constructive criticism. If you're unable to receive constructive criticism, call it quits as an entrepreneur right now. Criticism is how you can tell what works from what doesn't work, giving you a better insight into your business and customers. Making necessary changes based on constructive criticism from others will keep your business updated and relevant, drawing in prospects and keeping others coming back. On the other hand, you must give constructive criticism to others as well, especially if you have downlines or employees to work with. You need to be able to tell them in a constructive manner what's working well and what's not, so they too can build their business successfully. 
Maybe you've tried to start an online business and it hasn't worked out for you. And now you're thinking maybe that it only works for certain people. Well, it doesn't have to be that way because we discovered that you're most likely to succeed if you start a business best suited towards your entrepreneurial success type. Below you will discover the secrets you'll need to know to make your online business a success. This 30 second quiz will reveal your success type and give you specific business ideas to make you successful. It's easy to get started. Just take this very short 30 second quiz by clicking on the link below. I'll see you at the top.